logging out to Carnoustie. <laughs> I'm here till Thursday and the course here looking out on it just look at how brown it is and it rained this morning. I've heard reports of ridiculously long drives and the course is playing mega 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 fast. So I'm going to have just a wander around and then just get my bearings and see where we are at. I'm so excited to be here. Long drive to get up here, a few meetings that I've got to quickly do and then hopefully show you around this amazing course. So one thing I'm going to have to do is come back here. Apparently they're showing mine and Rick's challenges on this screen when we were down here. I need to get that on film. I know it's already on film, but you get what I mean. And look who I found. Young Matthew Fryer. You enjoying your day, mate? Right? Loving it. Loving it. Got some very... Uh... <laughs> 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 yeah, <back> uh, <laughs> member from Warrington. Oh, from small, small, small world. It is a very, very small <laughs> world. And we're just about to head into the shop and have a look around there. But before we do, just include a few swings that we've seen today and a couple from the big cat courtesy of Matthew Fry. Make sure you head over and subscribe to Match Channel as well if you haven't already. Some good coaching content on there now, mate. Mm, well, you. I'm not saying there wasn't before. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just before yeah. anyone goes I'm crazy. Like okay, I'm gonna, gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> this is it. This is the weirdest thing that's happened so far today. So this is in the the bit where you come in. This is a massive screen overlooking the golf zone. It's me and Rick, as you do. <laughs> I'm going to head back to St Andrews. Back to St Andrews. I'm going to head to St Andrews, where I'm staying. But it seems like a, a good opportunity to turn this into a bit of a, a tech weekly, because I just had a look at some of the stuff that players have in their bag, and yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. So let's have a little bit of a look at what I've seen in players' bags, what I've seen people using, and then what might be coming your way as well. But first of all, is to get to the car, get a tripod and get home. <laughs> and the first place we've got to start is with a driving iron and this is the GAPR Low. Now this was spotted first of all in the bag of Hao Tong Lee and today it was in the bag of Tiger Woods. Now that's always a big deal for most people because it's Tiger Woods um, but also you know Tiger Woods is Mr. Stinger. Obviously a lot of people now play that shot but he is still Mr. Stinger. He is Tiger Woods. It's getting to the end of a long day. And it does look really, really cool, but I've just been sent the P790 driving iron, which is an absolute beast. So how this is gonna be any better, any longer, potentially a little bit more adaptable, we'll have to wait and see, but it's been seen quite a lot today. And it does seem a thing at the moment, the driving irons are pretty fashionable. Do you use driving irons yourself, guys? Do you stick to drivers off the tee? Let me know, and let me know what you think about that, because it does look pretty sexy, but that's the, you know, it's it's just a driving iron. I, I don't know if I'm getting overly carried away with it or not. Let me know. And all of a sudden, the world goes crazy. And I've just seen these pictures uh, they were posted on Golf Monthly on Instagram. And it's the GAPR Low, the GAPR Mid, and the GRPRRA. <laughs> GAPR High. So it looks like we have a low launching, a mid launching, and a high launching driving iron and hybrid combination from TaylorMade. That makes a little bit more sense. What do you think? And Golf Monty, thank you very much for posting those pictures. Okay, Cory's PC World, Golf Fan Warehouse, Tripod. Just got to the place for staying. Look how cute this is. Oh, this is absolutely awesome. So this is like three miles out of St. Andrews, which is behind me. And it's outside to the rest of this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful this evening. I mean, for anyone who's watched my channel for a while knows I love Scotland, but yeah, this is a whole new level. Now, the other thing that I noticed in a couple of ping players' uh, bags with the ping glide wedges, the new forged ones. So, I've spoken about those before, and they do look really, really, really good. And it just coincides today that it has been another release of a ping iron. 
I say release, we've got more information about a new eye iron. This is the I2110 and visually looking at these irons, oh. so these are to replace the I200 irons and basically the insert at the back of the club, they say they've made it larger and they've got a softer elastomer insert. Uh, and this is basically to try and increase perimeter weighting for greater forgiveness. Uh, and it's also about creating a bit more of a softer feel with these clubs. Now, ping irons for quite some time, they've been very much evolutionary rather than revolutionary. And these look so similar to the i200. You know, it is, <sighs> And they've also got the i500 iron, hollow body construction. I've seen a driving iron um, not too long ago and saw a driving iron today. And it's not an iron that I would put into play. So for many people who like pink clubs, these are going to be a fantastic addition. But the glide wedges, a forged wedge from ping. I mean, that doesn't happen very often. And I think that is something which is looking really, really cool. Now the glide wedges, they are forged. Uh, and well, I mean, ping wedges have always been all right. I mean, I've, I've never, dislike them apart from them feeling slightly firm and for them to bring a forge wedge out is so so strange but look at that uh, it's really weird but i'm excited to give them a go and hold the press again and golf monthly you are killing on instagram today um there's a new crazy there's a new crazy out a black one so for people who've used the pin crazy before the upside down uh motorbike racer that's that's pretty big as well, bringing back a classic like that, and that actually looks quite nice. I used to use a crazy. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll give that a cheeky go. So guys, thank you so so much for watching this mixture of Tech Weekly and the first day here at Carnoustie. Tomorrow I'm heading over to Fairmont, and I'm going to be playing, and I'm going to do lots of course footage from there, uh, course vlogs, tips, loads of stuff, and then I've got some really cool for Wednesday where I'm gonna be doing a bit of filming at the open in a, well, on the range, basically. Let's put it that way. So I'm really excited about that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of those videos. Comment below, let me know what you think about those new clubs. And also, if you're excited about the open, hit that subscribe, hit that like, follow me on my other social media as well, all linked in the description below. And I'll see you down here next time. I need to get some food. I am starving. And then edit and then go to bed. Just in case you wanted to know, um, bye. <laughs>